Welcome back people, this is episode 2 of Let's Play BS Legend of Zelda Ancient Throne Tablets and I figured out how to pass on save files so I'm still my girl self with no debts and probably the same amount of hearts, I'm not bothered to check Oop. <coughs> so let's start off, we're in Kakariko Village now Oh, you're awake! Are you going to continue your journey today? Please be careful Ah, you almost forgot your belongings, you should take them with you Youth, while you slept, I look into these stone tablets, he says at the bottom there, and I receive the big bag. When you go outside, you can use the ocarina to call a bird. It will take you to any place you wish. Well, you should begin searching for the third stone tablet as soon as possible. And he discovered nothing about the stone tablets. He's speaking to me t t from two different points at once. That is burning here. You work very hard when you become older. You don't have the strength he had in youth. Well, you might rest here for a bit if you wish. And they're picking up the fact that the stone tablets are significant since they're guarded by giant monsters. Probably Kakariko Village music there. We'll go inside. Uh, God damn it! Yeah. Push that away. It'd be really hard to get into that one unless I can just get. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about this too much. Oh yeah, I got them all. But it only amounts to 80 rupees or so. Oh, I keep my rupee count. That's cool. Break pots. That's what Link does. Even though this isn't really Link. Now, I don't think I'm missing any items. Usually you have to go to your dungeons. It could be because it's only the second day. See, so I've opened up this side of the map. And it conveniently tells me where the next one is. Usually you have to go to a dungeon to unlock all the stuff you got there last time. I'll, I'll try it out now to see. Yeah, this person standing there. I don't find one. Uh, must be because. Maybe it's just because I carried on the file. You knew already. Might as well catch a fairy. I have a fairy, do I? No need then. I'm still keeping it in secret, alright. Yeah, see, I don't think there's much to do over in this part of the world, but I think I'll go and grab the level 2 sword anyway, because I like having strong swords and I have loads and loads of rupees. Damn it. Yes, lend it to me. I got the shovel later on in the video at the end. I'm doing stuff. Right now, I think I'll head straight to the next dungeon. I think I can just walk in there. Don't think I need to get anything special. Yeah, I, in fact, I can just warp right there. How nice of them. I think you have to do something special for the second one, like save the blacksmith or something. The swordsmiths. This puzzle thing here. Funny thing about this switch puzzle, it first appeared in a link to the past, and I uh, know not a link to the past. Well, yeah, it did actually appear in a link to the past, but the first game that made proper use of it was in Heroes Tower of Link to the Past. But the game that made really big use of it was Link's Awakening, which didn't have color, which was really awkward in the original cartridge because it had these switches, and you kind of just knew that they're down now to be up afterwards. But I just find a really strange way they used it to such a huge extent in that game, but game didn't have color to make use of it. I guess I'm gonna need arrows or bombs soon. Maybe just do not work if you give me. 
I didn't get anything of a point in that room. Which makes me doubt something. Yep, like a bomb, but alright. They give you the map as you go in in this game. It seems. Oh no, did I just get out of the chest there? I can't remember. It only happened a second ago and I've already forgotten. Okay. Damn. I always cut the vines just in case. Even though my map will tell me if there's a hidden room. Patrol. Oh, the rooms are right here. We'll just check my map. We'll see where it leads. Okay. I'll just head into the one with the smallest path first. To make sure I get everything. And I don't have a hammer yet. Note to self: Go back there when you have a hammer. Huh? Oops. I ah, it's begun to rain. Curse this weather. You can't use bombs. Is it? I'm inside, so like the rain will probably stop by the time I'm finished. Yep, can use bombs outside anymore. See your hat, it's here to call. And this, I might not know what to do as much in this section since I've only done this chapter once or twice. It's the first and last chapter of the chapters I kind of know the most about. I assume I'm going to be getting the hammer up here soon. I see a mushroom. Where did you see it? I think that's going to be something to do with maple. Maybe it likes your mushrooms. What did that effect? Deep in the forest. You to the north of here. Is here Kakarika Village? I lost woods. Those who lost their way are never seen. You have the bomb somewhere, I'm sure. Bomb downwards from this room. Oh, wait, it's not a bomb, it's a door I missed. Again, be cautious. My brother once said the mushrooms should not be used in a stir fry, be brought to the magic shop. I don't think we see Sarshahala at all in this game. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but that, that's that's a name that wasn't made to be pronounced in English. Sarshahala. Old guy. These things you can only hit from behind. I think they're hemlocks. Iron masks. There's like a couple of enemies in the in the game with that kind of tribute but draw and different things throughout the series. Yeah, I'm gonna go and see and get the hammer now, I'm guessing. Oh, I see the shadows of fairies. Oh, he dies easily with a second sword. It's just straight up, no secrets. Can I carry? Uh, people are messaging me. You can probably hear that. I'm gonna ignore them though. Magic hammer. Does that not absolutely nothing magical? Do I have anything else left to do on this floor? Yeah, I can go left here a couple times. Apparently not there. 
Right there. I think I need to fall down into this floor from above. I'm gonna return to the start of dungeon now. Use my ocarina. Get those rupees from that room in here. An ordinary hammer. I magically put down these intrusions. I don't know what they're meant to be. I'm in health. Hmm. I could probably kill those things with the boomerang, but yeah, I'll get them there for now. You might be able to turn them into fairies, you can do that in some games. I wanna check it out actually. Nope, they're invincible to the boomerang in this game, which means they're probably invincible to everything. Feel the might of the dash attack. I can move mid dash. I think they don't respond because they used Ocarina. I wouldn't think they naturally respond. Ah! I died! No! Fairy. Yeah. How embarrassing. I'm not meant to die. Good thing I have my backup fairies. I should be careful from now on. I don't really want my kill counter to be any have any numbers on it. Better than zero. Turtle power. Trust this room. And I'm right not to trust it. Or I can go left. Other games I'd like to let's play. As I said before, that there's only a few specific games I'd like to let's play. I don't think I mentioned any. I'd like to let's play both the Sin and Punishment games, since they're kind of still kind of obscure and a lot more people should know about them. And I really do like them. And I feel I've could say quite a bit about them. Another game I'd like to let's play is Majora's Mask, but I'd, I'd like to do the 3 day challenge. That'll be something nice and relatively short, it's only 5 or 6 hours to do. So that'd be kinda cool. I uh, just my hammer though. But unfortunately, I don't capture the wise, so I'm um, just you can only really let's play stuff that I have on emulation. Another game I might let's play is um, Xenogears because I have that on my emulator. That'll be a blind let's play though, and it would all depend on if my EPSX has a good emulator on it, a good video recorder on it. Uh, I've never played Xenogears, and I'm basically only playing because I really love Xenoblade, and it's from the same guys who made it. I'd also like to try the Persona, Persona games in the near future since they're having a crossover with Fire Emblem. And I'll have to buy that since Fire Emblem is awesome. You should go play Fire Emblem if you're not doing it right now. Every single time I go over the map, I hit the wrong button. Uh, see, I could have gone left and right there. I don't want to miss anything, even though it's probably just rupees. Try your faster. I don't think you just talk about the magic shop thing again. Oh fuck! Sorry, excuse me, but damn, I'm not expecting to die twice in the same room. And that's just me being negligent. I am. I, I don't think I'm considered bad at playing Zelda. I don't know why this is happening. I better get a fairy again. 
Because I absolutely need them. And in fact, I shouldn't even warp back. I thought I need to fall down there to get this. Get to the room I wanted. That's it. No more even getting hit. Stop dodging. There we go. Nope, map. No, we need bombs in there. Yeah, I can go right here. Right there. Can I only carry 20 bombs? Oh, I got a bomb upgrade somewhere. Ah, yeah, 20 is plenty. They do give you a lot of bombs. They give me a lot of rooks here in this room. I need to pass such dire dungeon music. Ah, I got hit. Twice. Three times. What's happening to me? I'm sucking today. Well, when I say this is my first Let's Play, it, it is kind of, but I have another kind of sort of Let's Play on my other channel. I did a playthrough of A Link to the Past, um, not A Link to the Past, um, Zelda 2, and I didn't level up any of my stats and like until the very end when I leveled up as few as possible. Uh, it wasn't audio commentary over, but I had annotations giving my thoughts and feelings and stuff during the game. And I think that was a pretty good um, series of videos. Nobody's watching them though. My other channel is my popular is this one. That's my main channel just for comedy and stuff. I don't really upload a lot of videos to it. I just did that one somewhere. Now I can't remember what the boss is in this place. I think it could be Cold Stair. The ice one. No, because you need the fire rod for that, don't you? Oh no, it's probably the Almasaur King. Because Oh, yep, yeah, again, the hits when there's no one around. Yes, yeah, hammer's working because I need the hammer. Boom. I'm doing damage. Hmm. Doesn't look like I'm doing damage. Do I need spin attack? Damn, I'm really taking a lot of damage today. It is a good thing I'm stocking up these fairies every time. I don't think it's that the game is hard, I think I'm just doing bad. Ah, damn you. Damn you. Uh, me from through the walls. Okay, this guy is quite a bit harder than the bosses do today. I guess they were, you know, the first set of dungeons in Link to Pass boss. You can take almost child Link bosses. And they're considering the setups, three dungeons, and then the real game, like an uh, Ocarina of Time. But I'm betting, and I only need to use one fairy. Hopefully I get through the next dungeon now without using any. I think I've been saying that thing at the bottom of my screen for a long time now. And the exact same bit of flavor text that you get every single time I can tap it. Once again, you see Shadow of the Fairies. That's good. I'd like to see some fairies now. There's my fairy. Yes, but in the bow. This stage I could do it a few more bottles as well. Oh, I should have got that red rupee. But whereas killing them was mean meaningless.
Let's go to Link's house and see what Link's doing. Well, he's not there, but let's see who's in Link's house. No, no, I can't go down to Link's house yet. Still blocked off for now. That'll be next week, I'm sure. Yeah, I think that mountain's the last week. So they give you the desert and everything else down there. Next week. We'll go up north then and get that mushroom they were talking about. And give it to the witch syrup. Did I call her maple earlier on? Maple's the, young, the younger witch. Cooler witch, in my opinion. I really like Maple. A pretty minor character, but I think I like her. She's a bit of witty banter with Link in Yoroku games. Hmm. Yeah, this is I don't really have anything to use magic with at the moment, just a lantern. Uh, ah, this is the dungeon. I don't want to go in here yet. I just want to show you one more thing. Because I'm not ready to end this video. I'm not at 220, 2.30 yet. I'll end it when I get to 2.30. Inside the next dungeon. I believe this is what I want to show you. No. Nope. Did I find the mushroom? Ah, uh, no. Alright, ah, he's blocking me. He saved me. I was just looking for mushrooms and now I can't go back home. I'm from the blacksmith shop. Please take me to my partner. Alrighty then. Got myself a proper sword. Keeps. You know, I had to run at you. Oh, and a mushroom too. Get out of my way. I don't think I can warp with this guy. <sighs> Princess, a strange trader is set up shop in Kakariko village. What should be done? And what is the man selling? Hopefully a bottle. Nah. I have my fingers on the wrong side of the keyboard. Forgive me there. Cut all the grass. Empty bottles, it seems. Perhaps those would be useful. In the Zelda universe, empty bottles are very useful. I think this guy looks a bit like Sheik from Ocarina of Time. Just with the turban and the hair color and the blue. Set up. 100 rupees is a fair price. Pretty fair considering I have 2000. Store insects or medicine. Hero of Light, please see him. Catch a running man. Yeah. Well, you can come back that way. Well, I'll get him on the way back. I'll just throw this guy into the. His friend. Wait, nah, this is the library. I'm not sure I'll head in here anyway. Hey, piece of heart. It's my first one this playthrough, I think. Well, I got a heart container in. Oh, and I have three out of four bits, so I'm continuing on with heart containers. Maybe I didn't miss any last week. Sorry, but it's not there. No, okay. Is it? No, this is in a rental shop. And I'm not ready to buy one yet. I'll buy one right before I'm going into the dungeon. Where is the door? Oh, I'm in the wrong place completely. I have to go right in Kakariko. Why oh, did I think I was going in here? Oh, I can bomb this place. Now I've went over my 30 limit. I don't think the video is quite half an hour long yet though. I don't think we're only around 25 minutes. Damn it. Yeah, I'm really sucking today. I 
boomerang powers. And I get a heart container. Nice. Okay, I'll hurry up now, deliver this guy, bring that mushroom to syrup, and head to the next dungeon. And then I'll stop the video. Because anything more than half an hour is a bit long to be watching, I reckon. Half an hour, I think, is a nice bite sized chunk to watch a video like this. They're still talking to me about how to protect those monsters in the Helmosaurs. Or Helmorox, or. Yeah, it's all similar names. Hey, old friend, I'm back. Sorry to have worried you. Thanks for helping my partner. We ought to repay you somehow. Will you let us temper your sword? Okay. Woohoo! Swords ice have been sharpened, it seems I've taken on a mysterious radiance, and it now looks like the master sword. Let's see if I can get my magic hat by the mad batter. Oh, I don't have any magic. Potion, yeah, I'll get that from syrup, I suppose. Oh, I think I'll head to the dungeon before doing that. Though I have a feeling I'll get the fire rod in the next dungeon. Maybe, mainly because it's in the. Yeah, I think it might be actually be useful to get the half magic before going to the dungeon because I'm pretty sure that's the dungeon with the Matra enemy. And it'll only take a second here to give us a nice quick warp today. It's a witch's shop? Oh, sweet Roma, if you give me that mushroom, I can make something for you. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks forever. <laughs> no, just thanks forever again. Now. Leftover. Do this leftover pouch and turn. Hee <laughs> hee. Magic powder. Ah, I'm gonna buy the retro shop now. I know, I know, I keep on saying I'm doing extra stuff before. But look, the rental shop is just here. Then I'll head to the dungeon and let you leave. Plus, I get the level 3 sword now. Yes, I'll take it. And now I'm racing against the clock to try and keep this sword before I try most of the dungeon. I'm going here, yeah. I'm gonna try to catch a swimming man too. Uh, I have to stop coming towards him. Oh well. I'll get him in the next video. Now, just a map hour. So you woke me up from my long sleep. Thank you. I'd have to pay you back for this. Are you ready? He serves you right. Now you only have to use up half the magic power that you needed before. Well then, you better do your best for what it's worth. Farewell. Goodbye. He sounded a lot friendlier there than he does in Link to the Past. Though they still kept the kind of theme of him punishing you with something useful. I feel like there's four treasure chests in uh, Paper Mario out near door. I'm guessing they were kind of inspired by the Mad Batter. He's in Link's Awakening as well if, if you haven't played it. Increases all your item capacity, so you have to carry around a lot more stuff. How unfortunate. Anyway, this is the next dungeon. I'm going to leave it here, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.